and our pull pads were actually programmed for <laughs> Adams Park Library. And so what is your problem? We were directions how to get up <laughs> to standing physically in front of me. And so then at that point, what was done, um, since uh, can I watch this? Can I not watch this? What is your problem? Dre. Do you not like her? Why? You just don't like her voice. All right, what's the matter, Dre? Um, and, and I can't... What do you want me to do? I want to watch my show. <laughs> Why? This is important stuff. I got to listen to it. <laughs> Dre, you got to let me watch it. I'm putting it back on. I am. I'm doing it right now. I'm not even going to speculate on what the mobile units. I went and I voted in person on October 23rd. That's not even hurt. Why are you still drowning? My sister, who was a first time voter. And when I went to check in and give them my license and verify my identity, that's not even the same person. Card, I was told that there was an absentee ballot already out for me. But I never requested one. I've never voted absentee. I always go vote in person. And. I had to sign an affidavit saying that I did not request an absentee. Hold on, I think she'll be back on here. So I got my vote. Just give it a minute. I voted in person. Everything went fine after that. The next day, um, my mom called the voter center and was told that somebody voted absentee in my name on October 7th. Um, we don't know who that is, and we haven't gotten any answers about that since. And on October 28th, I filled out an open records request for the Fulton County Voters Office. 